This cereal box keeps my filament super dry. In this video, I make a bracket that securely mounts this box to my 3D printer and only takes 17 hours to print. I live in the land of moisture, which is a problem for me because I mostly print with PETG. PETG has a drinking problem. If you leave it out in the open, no matter where you hide this stuff, the bastard will find it. I'm just gonna do a load of laundry, then I'll be right there. Wait a minute. Dude, come on. You don't need this stuff. So I invested in some cereal containers. With a few upgrades, these make for a great filament dry box. Thanks to the desiccant inside the box, the humidity is well under 20%, which means it can last weeks or even months without needing to be dried. But I needed a way to mount it. My printer came with this simple snap-on spool holder, and I liked the idea, so I stole it. I modified the design to work with my cereal box. First, I ditched the locking bracket. It wasn't really doing much, and without it, the design became much simpler. No screws, no tools, just snap it on. That part was easy. The trickier part was recreating the shape of the cereal box. It has some weird curves. I tried dusting it with flour and scanning it. In theory, brilliant. In practice, not so much. The scan was a bit washed out, and there wasn't much contrast between the edges and the background. So I took a reference photo with my iPhone, pulled it into Fusion 360 and traced around the shape. Much better. The first prototype came out great. The fit was perfect and it was totally usable right away. But then I took a step back and realized it was tall, like taller than it needed to be. I noticed there was actually some unused space above the plane of the nozzle. That meant I could redesign the bracket to let the container sit much lower without interfering with anything. So I went back into Fusion and rebuilt the bracket. The new version is a bit bigger overall, but now the cereal box sits about 50 millimeters lower. That's a pretty decent space saving, especially if you're height limited or printing inside an enclosure. Both brackets are designed to be printed at 45 degrees, so they don't need much support material. And I'll put these files on MakerWorld for anyone who's interested. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, subscribe.